Yo, yo. Today we'll be looking at a new and possibly um, upcomer to go against Flipper Zero, and that is the LilyGo T Embed CC1101. I bought this with my own money. Um, it was 30 bucks USD, and it came in a few days ago, and it's got a very similar form factor to the Flipper Zero. Let's just get into the uh, the feel of it right away. Um, so compared to the Brazero, that's the size. Go top down here. It's a little bit wider. Here just stacked up the Brazero on top of it. It's a tad bit wider. Bottom of it, there's your USB-C. And there's the top. So now going into the hardware of this right away, um, we have a speaker up here. We have a kind of soft power on button right here. The back, it's got this weird mounting area. It looks like they were gonna develop this or possibly have it for like a wall mount or even a wearable. This is magnetized, so this is kind of cool. So this comes off, rubber texture. So there's no screws holding this in place. It just snaps in place and then pops off. It's got a 3.7 volt 1300 milliamp and battery in it that is pretty easily to get to you can pop off the JST connector right there uh, Here's your speaker up here. You can see all the antennas and I don't know which antenna is which but you have an antenna right in here You have this one that bends around the housing right here I'm assuming this is NFC. This is probably going to be sub gigahertz band there's also a antenna down here. This is probably gonna be your Wi-Fi antenna. This has built-in Wi-Fi to it. it as the ESP32 board. Um, and then it also has IR somewhere. I have not seen the emitter for that. It could be right here. We'll look into the uh, schematics here in a second. It's got a microphone right here. It's got a wheel instead of the Flipper Zero, you know, kind of up, down, left, right, return, enter. This one just has a wheel that you turn and then you can push it for your selection. And then of course the on button. I do like the fact that this kind of just magnetizes on and off because that makes changing out the internals pretty easily or modding it down the line if that's something that comes out. Uh, there is no GPIO, I guess. Well, there is this pin system right here. All right, so here's Lily Go's website. There is the T embed C1101. So this is a PN532 NFC RFID I2C transceiver module, 30.68 uh, USD. As of right now, they only have the transparent K230 case. So this is a built-in sub gig model based on the C1101 transceiver and radio antenna. The maximum range is 50 meters. Both the C1101 chip and the antenna are designed to operate at frequencies 300 to 348, 387 through 464, 779 through 928. Uh, very similar to the Flipper Zero. The MCU is an ESP32 S3 dual core. It's got the LX7 microprocessor. It's got 16 megs of internal flash RAM. The programming can be done through the Arduino IDE or the ESP IDF, um, or you can use platform IO. Um, IO. It's got an RS RAM of eight megs, the onboard uh, functions. So we have the reset button on the, we have the boot button, IR transceiver, or and sorry, IR transmitter and receive. It's got a bat voltage detection of um, IO04. Wireless protocols are Wi Fi, 802.11, BG, and N, and then Bluetooth 5. So that's kind of a step up already from the Flipper Zero, where the Flipper Zero, you have to have the uh, Marauder Wi Fi board to get Wi Fi that this one has built in. So that's kind of cool. Uh, interfaces so it's an SPI, it's got a drive tube at ST7789V. The resolution is um, a 170H RGB X320V. And then here's the all the schematics and everything else. Okay, so now we can look at 
this area right here is your IR area. Zoom back in again. And then we have the RGB color wheel. We got a microphone. We have the back that we didn't that we showed. And then here is all the other protocols of what it supports. And then down here it looks like this is a VCC VCC and then we got a speaker slot and the reset button that's also where your micro SD card uh, will go is right in that little slot right there that is that for now on the Lilligo T embed from the website let's get into how it looks when we boot it up snap that back on we're gonna zoom out a tad bit powered on we're gonna press this guy and right away we're in the sub gig area. We can scroll down and then we can go to, uh, this is the 2812 NFC. We got battery, Wi Fi, music, infrared, and then settings. So let's go to settings first. Let's look at that. Got settings. This is a great color display, by the way. Like, this is very similar to, to the ammo LED displays that Lily, Lily Go does. Um, but it's just not as crisp. But it, from this distance, like from me being about roughly 24 inches away from it, from where I can see it to where I'm currently standing, uh, I can read it very, very clearly. Um, I have not taken this out in daylight yet to see how it functions. So, settings, hit our home button. We got screen rotation, we got deep sleep, we got the uh, UI theme, so I have it in dark mode. We have shutdown, and that's it. Or I'm sorry, about system, and then shutdown, right? Yeah, that's it. And then you kind of just scroll back up to go back to your arrow up there to go home. Infrared. We have, so the heaters, again, this is very like new. So there's not a lot of like, you know, we're, with the Flipper Zero, we have momentum. We have, um, what was that? Extreme, Rogue Master, and, you know, a plethora of other custom uh, firmwares that we can do. This really, from what I've seen, only has what comes with it. Um, so there's not a lot yet, but because it's so new, that's probably why. But with that being said, how the form factor is, the screen, the whole functionality and what it offers, I think it's gonna be um, a close runner up to the Flipper Zero and we probably should start seeing stuff on GitHub here soon for custom firmwares of, of the, uh, T, the T embed. So if I go to the infrared and let's see here, let's go, we're gonna go receive. Now, let me see how this works. I'm going to take the Flipper Zero here, and I haven't done this yet, so this is all new. So we're going to go Flipper Zero, Universe Remotes, we're going to go TVs, and we're sending on the Flipper Zero. You can, you can see that I put it down. We are getting whatever the Flipper Zero is putting out, and pretty much I have it on the Universal TV on and off, so those are all the um, codes for the Universal TVs to go on and off. So it is receiving those. But can I send? So if I send, let's go back to Flipper Zero now. New remote raw. All right, so it is sending. Uh, you did hear that, okay? So I did get 29 samples of what was ever sent from the T embed. Oh, there we go. So we just did something. We, so let's go try this again. Exit, yep, 41 samples. So the IR is definitely sending and receiving on this, which is nice. Now let's go to, the next one is music. I haven't gone into music yet. So no, so obviously you could probably load up files on an SD card and then you can be like a MP3 player if you would. I don't know the sound quality of that because of the speaker is so small and there's no audio out that I can see. So it's kind of a useless function in my opinion. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi disconnect, let's go, 
So one thing, this click wheel, I'm not a big fan of it. So config start on the Wi-Fi. I did try the Wi-Fi yesterday and this is all it did. So let's see what help does. Oh, you need to download ESP touch to configure Wi-Fi. Okay, so that take care of that. All right, uh, where were we at? We're going with battery was next, right? Battery. Here's all your battery details. You've got your VBAT, you've got your VBUS. Um, you've got your charging status. It's not charging, obviously. Percentage of what the current draw is is at 4.2, 21 milliamps, my bad. And then you have your charge status. Again, it's not charging. And then your VBUS status, no input. Plug this guy in. And you can see there that we are now charging. You're showing what your VBAT target uh, charging is. And it is coming out of a USB C uh, DP. So it does recognize that it is um, PD, PD, PW uh, coming out of here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, coming out of the Emote 2 power pack container X. Um, it does it does have uh, fast charge capabilities on there, by the way, which is kind of cool and nice. Battery, we're going to go up to NFC. And there's not a lot here that I've seen. This might be an area that's still under development. Unless if I'm missing something, I can't scroll anywhere. So... And this just might be something that needs to be unlocked in the examples on the um, GitHub repository. Looks like, like a color matcher almost is what this might be. I'm not really familiar with this, so maybe one of you guys knows what this is. Let's see what I'd do if I turn that on. Oh, sweet. Never mind. I just figured this out. So it's on demo, that's why. Let's take it off demo. Demo two, demo three, off. That's cool. All right, so again, like this, this wheel just don't like it that much. I prefer the flipper little things. It. I wish you could spin it with one hand. Well, you kind of can, but it's cumbersome. It, it feels weird. So we're just gonna leave it on that. All right, let's get out of here. I think this is gonna be brightness probably or intensity. Or your saturation, possibly. No, that's your intensity, yeah. That's how bright we're going to go. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, going up to the sub G area. Let's see what we can get into with this area. Let's go to here. We've got 315. So we've got 315. We've got 434. We've got, what is that, 868 and 315 again so I'll leave it on 315 we're gonna turn this to receive we're gonna go to flipper zero we're gonna go to let's just do the good old-fashioned tesla files right so here we are flipper zero on the tesla transmit so 315 315 now if i hit send i didn't see anything come through on the t embed let's try that again so, nothing. So it's sending something. Don't know what it's sending, but... Oh, there we go. We got something there. So we got a IHWE7. Let's try it again. Huh. Yeah. Again, this is all very, very new, so... There may not be a lot of options yet. Let's try 433 on the Tesla, and then let's change the frequency to 434. You might find. Nothing happening. So let's try something else then. Let's go back to receive. Let's go to flipper zero. Let's try. Hmm, let's try a sprinkler system. The hunter. Oh, empty. Clearly, I never play with the sprinkler area on my flipper zero. 
All right, restaurant pager. How about that? Let's go with the Dureticus, the T11s, pager one. And those are transmitting at the 434 area. So let's see what we get. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm just not picking up anything, it seems like. 434. Receive. So, yeah, so this area may just be under development or it might be locked still. Um, I did find that, let's go back to the phone real quick and we're gonna go to the GitHub page regarding the T embed. All right, so this is the T embed C1101 on the GitHub page. And here we can read through what this actually is and what we can expect from it. Kind of what the similar uh, discussion was on the website. It's got the folder structure of how things are saved. Here's some examples. So we got the battery management the frequencies uh, reception test display receive message in the serial port uh, so this is all i believe if you're going to connect it to the platform io area so here's your area if you want to go for for the plat platform um, io quick start i just set this up on my computer and kind of played around with it a little bit but i didn't get too far with it so we're still looking at you got how to set up your platform IO under the Visual Studio Code and Python. That actually wasn't that difficult to do if you are gonna get one of these and, and do it yourself. It's not that difficult. Um, I did not try the Arduino uh, IDE uh, just because I read some issues about it. So I didn't wanna have to deal with anything too difficult right now because again, this is still so new. And that's kind of it. excited to see how it's gonna compare to Flipper Zero. Um, Again, I do like the screen. Color screens are always awesome, you know, and it's a lot bigger. Um, I forgot the measurements, but you can look it up compared to the Flipper Zero screen. Nice color display. Cool form factor, very similar to the, flip, to the Flipper Zero, just more oval, obviously, and not this cool little sharp, like, angle thing that Flipper Zero did. My only complaint is uh, this wheel, not really fond of it. It's okay, um, maybe you guys might like it more. It does function through pretty easily, but it's like, I wish it was like more like uh, rigid, like more tactile on your fingers, because um, it kind of, a little slick. I don't know, maybe I'll just take it apart and solder it, like dimple solder it, you know, kind of stipple it and make it more tactile for my fingers. That's right, so they don't have this area where you can quick shut off and on. Yeah, you have to go to settings, it's kind of annoying and you're going to go to deep sleep and then that's how you shut it off so that's pretty much the gist of it turn it back on you just hold that down and then it boots up so i hope this video helps you guys decide if you want to purchase one of these or not if you want to wait until more development is out for them uh, again this is a t embed c1101 by lilygo they are 30.68 dollars on their website um, but yeah thanks for watching i appreciate it let me know your thoughts on this cool little device and you think it was going to take off or not have a great day